Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. of the first transcontinental railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country, but powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the president to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Badlands! El Silver! On the rim of a high bluff overlooking a stretch of broken, treacherous country, two riders were trotting along. One was an Indian astride a paint horse. The other, riding a giant white stallion, wore two guns low on his hips and his bronzed face was cut by a black mask. There was strength in every line of his body and in the keen eyes that narrowed as they searched the ground beyond the bluff. There was no mistaking that heroic figure. This was the Lone Ranger. That's bad country up ahead, Tonto. Ah, uh, if railroad go that way, they have heap trouble. Railroad's got to go that way. There's no other route that's nearly as short. Maybe so. Have you noticed the stakes? We passed them every several hundred yards. Ah. Uh. Them railroad markers? Yes. Surveying parties already been over this ground. In another month, the railroad gang will be out here leveling off the grade. And the track crews, and finally... The iron horse run over rails, huh? Track from the Atlantic to the Pacific, Tonto. Think of it, Kimosabi. Steel rails tying our country together. Stronger than ever before. That'd be plenty good. Nothing will stop the railroad builders, Tonto. Country needs the railroad. Uh, men of Iron Spur try to stop railroad. The Iron Spur is a gang of outlaws. They know a railroad brings law and order after the trains. They don't want law and order. That's why they use fire and guns and money to battle the railroad at every... Kimosabi. Steady, Silver. Oh, Ooh, steady. Oh, them shots. Listen, three shots and... Three more shots. Hello, that's a signal for help. Someone's in trouble. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. This heap funny. I'm sure those shots came from here, Tonto. That's what Tonto think. Took us ten minutes from the bluff, yet there's no sign of anyone. Ground too hard for tracks. Start circling. Perhaps we overlook something. Uh, Tonto go north. Get him up, scout. I'll swing this way. All right, Silver. Any sign yet, Tonto? No sign. You're watching the ground? Uh, he watch all time. Swing out again, Tonto. Wider and more to the west this time. Uh. Get him up, Scout! Get him up! It's mighty peculiar, Silver. Three shots means help. Yet there's no sign that anyone needed help. No sign of anything at all. Hi! What is it, Kimosabe? You come back! Come on, Silver! 
Let us see this and drown. Well, steady, big fella. Cartridge shells. Huh? Six of them. We heard six shots. Dismount, Tonto. We're going to look more carefully. Uh, easy, Scout. Easy. The man who fired those shots wanted help, Tonto. And he reloaded his gun fast. How you know? It's obvious. The shells would have stayed in his six-gun otherwise. He broke the gun, eased out the empties, and reloaded. They never got a chance to shoot again. Kimasabi, ground scraped here on rock, see? Yes, horse's hoofs. That right. That mark from horseshoe. That means one thing, Tonto. Whatever happened to the man who's gone, it wasn't Indians. That right. Indian horse, not wear horseshoe. The only reason that mark showed here is because horses were milling around. It might take us a month to get half a mile on this kind of rock. Uh, there may be something else right in this section. Cast around a little, Tonto. Now, this rock, for instance, seems to have been disturbed. Ah, uh, what that? Lying right under the rock. Hello, it's a packet in oil silk. Obviously, a valuable letter of some kind. Must have been hidden there by the man who signaled for help. Ah, uh, their name on the other side. Delivered to Colonel Parkman. Toto, Colonel Parkman, the chief engineer in charge of construction of the Central Railroad. Ah, uh, that mean man who disappeared, railroad man, huh? And they got him, but he was clever enough to conceal this first. That right. But who get him, huh? I don't know, Tonto. Look around some more. Maybe something else that we haven't found. Uh, Kimasabi. What is it, Tonto? Look here, side rock. It's a spur, an iron spur. Ah. So that's what it was. He was captured by the outlaws of the iron spur, and what's more, he... Oh, beat, the mess, Kimasabi, they fire from Big Hill. They've been hiding there since we came. Look, they're plenty men. Too many for us to handle, Tonto. They've got the range on us, they're using rifles. Quick, on your horse. Yes, Scout. Steady, Silver. Uh. Get out Kimasabi, they come after us. Let them try. They'll never match Silver and Scout. Get them up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Bad men way back. I do not see him anymore. They've given up the chase. They may still be watching us, Tuttle. We'll keep traveling. What about man who leave package? We'll have to figure out some way to help him. Can't do it by facing murderous odds. How long before the sun goes down? Not long. Maybe hours. Slow up, Tonto. Easy, oh, Silver. Easy. Oh, oh. We ride together a little while longer, Kimosabe, and we separate. Uh, what that you say? I will have to. This letter must be important. Colonel Parkman must get it as soon as possible. By riding all night, I can reach the end of track shortly after dawn. I'll show this to Miss Barkley. That heap good idea. She, she girl who worked for Parkman. It's also important that we don't lose the trail of the missing man and the Iron Spur outlaws. We both ride to the railroad and then come back. The trail will be cold. Uh, we never find sign then. Uh, this is rocky country. Those outlaws will be alert, ready for anything. Do you think you can watch them without letting them know you're around? Uh, can't I try? I'll be back before the next sunset. Uh, what happened if outlaw ride away? Then follow them, Kimosabe. No matter where they go, keep after them. Leave trail markers so I'll know which way you're heading. Uh, I'm that good. Count us happy. Yours is a more dangerous job, Tonto. You know my reason for giving it to you. Ah, uh, Silver, him faster than Scout. That's why you go to railroad. That's it, Kimosabe. Uh, Tonto Sabe. You not worry. You go to railroad. After dark, Tonto come back, find out how. Tonto watch, plenty good. Think we ought to have a campfire, Dexter? What about that mast hombre in the engine? Don't be loco, Raven. They vamos, didn't they? Yeah. You watch him clean out of sight. He was traveling at a gallop all the way. I well, wish we'd have got him this afternoon. Yeah. Maybe you gents need some le lessons in how to shoot rifles. You're all right with six guns, but that only... That was long-range shooting, Dexter. Long-range in his engine part. Raven, if we'd shot them two down, we'd be kingpins of the worst. You mean the Iron Spur would be kingpin? Sure, that's what I meant. I reckon you better mean that. We're all working for the Iron Spur, Dexter. It wouldn't sound so good if you was to get fancy notions about being top hand. You know, Raven, forget it. Anyways, we had a chance and we missed. I wish I could be dead certain that masked army didn't back trail and come back. Not a chance. If they'd have known we had that railroad man tied up like a yearling maverick, maybe they would be coming back. They don't know that, do they? Guess not. Sure not. All they spotted was that iron spur we left. There wasn't nothing else around. Besides, they saw we had them outnumbered. Lone Range is no ignorant warrior, Raven. He won't be back. Uh, where's that hombre? Inshaw? Who else? Over yonder at that break in the rock. Pecos is gardening. You know, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going over to ask Henshaw a couple of questions. I'll make that hombre talk. Well, Mr. 
Mr. Haynes, sure. Change your mind any? No. How about it, Pico? Yeah, I didn't get nothing out of him, Dexter. He's got no more tongue than a tumbleweed. You can't get away with this, Dexter. You and your gunfighting crew won't let... And sure, I'm sick of wasting time. The Iron Spur happened to know that you had important information for the railroad. That's why we held you up. You searched me. You found nothing. That don't signify. Maybe you got it in your head instead of written down. But you don't seem to be able to remember. Those it. men will be back, Dexter. They won't be back. You're just hoping they will. And Joe, sure, did you ever do any running? Huh? Running on your feet. I don't savvy what you're aiming at. Take old savvy, Sancho. You? <laughs> you see, we want to loosen your tongue. I figure the best way to loosen it is to untie your legs, fasten you to saddle horn with a length of rope, and then start the horse galloping. What's that? Yeah. You got to run to keep up with the horse, mister. And pretty soon the horse is moving too fast. You trip and fall down. <laughs> but the horse don't stop. <laughs> It'll skin your hide right off your head. Oh, are you dirty... <laughs> It's murder. No, it ain't. We won't kill you. We stop just short of that. Just to give you a chance to tell us what we want to know. Well, you lop-eared, yellow-livered coyote, I'd like to... <laughs> <laughs> Them ropes are tight. You can't do nothing. Change your mind, ain't you? No. You know, I reckon that settles it. Get the horse ready, Pecos. Sure thing. Oh, please. Oh! Hey, Dexter! Come around in! Come on, Pecos. Leave this hombre. Can't move no how. Raymond! Where are you? Over here. There he is. He's holding a six-gun in his hand. Oh, you tiny son idiot. What's the idea emptying your gun or nothing? Do you think we want That's to... That's why you're wrong, Dexter. I wasn't shooting at the moon. Don't you see that horse? Huh? Well, I'll be doggone. It's a paint. Yeah, but the saddle's empty. Where's the rider? Right here. Look. That's what I was shooting at. Well, I'll be nice shooting, Raven. It's the engine and you caught him square. Yeah. He isn't moving a muscle. the end of track. Wait here, boy. Who's there? Stand still or I pull the trigger. Miss Barkley. Oh, mask man. It is you. I heard you coming. It sounded like silver, but I couldn't be certain in the dark. We've ridden a long way, Miss Barkley. Where's Tom? I left him to trail the Iron Spur outlaws. The Iron Spur? Where? West, past the Cooley into the Badlands, out where the railroad survey stakes are. Miss Barkley, was Colonel Parkman expecting some information by messenger? Why, several things. How did I found this packet under a rock? Here, I'll strike a light. Why, this is... You recognize it? I recognize the handwriting. It's Henshaw, Steve Henshaw. He was sent out to purchase land from people who might be living up ahead, where the railroad right of way will go. I see. This had to be kept secret, masked man. If the Iron Spur learned where the railroad was buying land, they could buy it first themselves and then refuse to sell. It hadn't been opened? It hadn't been touched. Henshaw hid it before he was captured. Oh, Colonel Parkman will be glad... To... Captured? Henshaw captured? Yes, but the Iron Spur, more than a dozen outlaws... The only reason I came here at once was because I knew this might be important. Now I'm going back. You and Tana were going to face the Iron Spur alone? If it's necessary. Oh, masked man, I'll tell Colonel Parkman. He can spare a few soldiers. Then send them along. Have them follow my trail. Yes, Silver. But why not wait for them? Steady, big fella. No, Miss Barkley. The masked man, what is it? There's something the matter. Miss Barkley, don't ask me to explain it. Perhaps it's because Tano and I have been partners for so long. But just now I got the strangest feeling, a feeling that... Something had happened to Tonto, that he's in grave danger. It may be too late to help him already. Too late? You mean... I don't know what I mean. I only know I can't wait, and I'm going back now. Adios, Miss Barkley. Come on, Silver. Adios, Lone Ranger. Faster, Silver. Tonto needs us faster. Oh, Silver! Fire! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. Dexter and his band of iron spur outlaws broke up camp in the early light of dawn. As the gray light spread over the broad, broken badlands west of Cooley, he and his men were busy with frenzied activity. Up to it, break up camp. We're dragging out of here. I got Henshaw tied to his horse's back, Dexter. He know we're taking him along with us. We'll make him talk yet. Raven! Raven, where in blazes are you? You calling me, Dexter? You got ears, ain't you? How about that engine? One of my bullets creased his forehead, knocked him out. He's still alive. Mighty bad shooting, Raven. Well, it was dark. But just say the word now, and I'll finish the job. No. But why can't... You don't savvy, Raven. You know that engine is, don't you? Why, sure. He's Tonto. Pardon it, a lone ranger. Yeah. Listen, Raven. Ever since the Iron Spur got organized to beat the railroad, who's the one hombre that's been licking us out every turn? The lone ranger. He know he sure is. That masked man is just plain poison outlaws like us. And now's our chance to get even. I don't savvy. Use your head, man. We got Tonto. That means the masked man isn't far off. That'll be coming here just as fast as he can travel to find his partner. Yeah? So all we gotta do is to be ready for him, Savvy. You mean? I mean we got the bait already, the engine. Now we're gonna set a trap for the masked man and do it right. Pulling up stakes with Amusen. But we'll be sure to leave signs a Lone Ranger can follow. Maybe he'll suspect something's up. Oh, no. Doesn't look like we're in too much of a hurry to bother about hiding a trail. That means he'll come riding after us, Savvy. And when the time comes? When the time comes, you see the engine lying on the ground. It looked like he died, and we just left him there. The Lone Ranger rides up to get his partner, and then... Yeah? Then we're hiding right close by. Hiding with a dozen rifles, ready to fill them full of bullets. An ambush? Yeah. When we get through the mass man and his engine part, it'll be food for the buzzards. Now let's start traveling. On your horses. Head west into the Badlands. Come on, get up. Come on, Nick, get up. Come on, Nick. Ahead. Do it like I told you. Pecos, lead the way. Hey, no, Dexter. We'll see you soon. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. We've stopped. Yeah, Henshaw. Well, Raven, this looks like a good spot, don't it? Little hollow with trees and ridges all around. You couldn't have picked it better, Dexter. <laughs> you want me to untie the engine? Yeah. Don't try anything, engine. I got you covered. Oh. Time to not move. Kino, he's untied. No, you can't. Now, listen. Oh. You hit him with the butt of your gun when he wasn't looking. Why, you... <laughs> no use trying to do anything, Henshaw. You're tied good and tight. I suppose it's my turn now. Not on your life, Henshaw. We still got to get you to talk. What are you going to do to him? Why'd you pick this spot to... Those outlaws. The rest of your gang, they're swinging in a circle. They're heading back. Come on, Henshaw. So that's it. You're setting up an ambush. Maybe so. With the engine here, so it'll look like he needs help. Who are you after? Who is... The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Yeah, Angel, the Lone Ranger. It's a trap, and he's going to walk right into it. When he gets here, we'll be up behind them trees, ready to shoot him down. Now, come on along. That's it, Silver, old boy. There's trails as plain as daylight. We've made fast time. Can't be much further ahead. And they got Tonto. That was obvious from the signs back where they broke camp. Hope he wasn't badly hurt. If we get over this ridge, we'll get a better view. Easy, Silver. Slow down now, old fella. He may be in sight from the top of the ridge. I want one of them looking back and spotting us. But we've done so well so far. Easy. Easy, that's it. Another few steps, and I'll stand in the stirrups. And that's it, boy. That. Silver. <laughs> Up ahead in that little hollow, lying on the ground, scout standing beside him. It's Tunnel Silver. Don't move. The rustle the branches. It's him. I got her eyes. Lay still. Keep your guns trained. When he stops beside the engine fire. All, All right, right Mister. Still there on the ridge. He'll be along. But he isn't. He'll moving. be along. I tell you. He's a smart hombre, Pecos. He's looking things over before he moves in. But he can't see us. Nope. All he can see is our trail disappearing to the west. Just that and the engine. That engine's his partner, Pecos. He'll do all he can. <laughs> He'll be along. You what the? It's all right, Dexter. What's going on? Henshaw tried to shout to warn the masked man. I took care of him. Keno, Raven. I reckon it's all right. Cut and blaze, he's calling the Indian's horse. There goes the paint. Yeah, let the horse go to the masked man. Won't make any difference. The Lone Ranger still got to come for the engine. What can a dumb horse tell him? Ah! 
That's it, Scout. Here, boy. Good horse. Uh, you left your master when I called you. Good boy, Scout. Now, Silver, we're going down to get Tonto. Scout will run alongside of us. Ready, boy? Ready, Silver? Come on, fella. <laughs> Dexter, here he comes. The paint horse is running right with him. But well, what's he traveling so fast for? Get ready. Get your guns ready. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. I don't savvy this, Dexter. What's the sense of him galloping that way? What's his rush? Our nation, Dexter. You figure maybe he knows he's a trap? Don't be local. How could he know? I tell you that. in blazes. He does know. Look, Dexter, he's got his six guns out. He's shooting at us. He can't see us. I don't care whether he can see us or not. He's shooting, ain't he? Shooting at every doggone tree on both sides of the hollow. Oh! I tell you, he knows there's something wrong. Look at him ride. Let him have it. Pour it on him. All right, All right after you. Keep up here. Guns roared as the Lone Ranger raced down into the hollow. Silver moved like a flashing hurricane with Skulk dogging his heels. As they neared Tonto, the masked man holstered his empty guns and bent low in the saddle. The outlaws continued their fire, but their nerves were shaken by the surprise of the masked man's tactics and their aim was bad. Before they could recover, Silver and Skulk paused beside Tonto. Steady, steady, big fella. I've got him, Silver. Steady. Now get him, Silver. Faster! Faster! With one mighty effort, the Lone Ranger had lifted Tonto across Silver's shoulders. The great stallion carrying his double burden and the paint horse whipped across the hollow and away while the outlaw's bullets fell short of the flying hoofs. But I'll be a broken wing buzzer. Did you see that? Hold your fire! Hold your fire! No use shooting anymore. They got away. Silver, whoa, Scout, whoa. You're all right now, Tonto. Easy. Try, Kimasabi. Try. They hit Tonto on the head. Make, make trap for you. I almost fell into the trap, Tonto. We're safe for the moment. We're a mile beyond their ambush. Oh, that's plenty good. You're feeling better? No. Uh, you let me down. Uh, me right on Scout now. Uh, uh, but, Kimasabi. How you know it was a trap? Scout told me, Tonto. Huh? I stopped on the ridge when I saw you, and I called Scout. He came to me at once. Now you understand? No, I... Oh, me savvy. Scout not leave Tonto if him dead. That right? That's it, Tonto. Scout loves you. If you'd been dead, he would have stayed by your side. Nothing could have made him leave. When he came to me, I knew you were still alive. So he rode in fast. I emptied my guns at both sides of the hollow. Uh, that plenty good. That heap good. You fool outlaw plenty, huh? Yes, but we've got to fool them some more. And why that? They still have Henshaw, Tonto. We mustn't give them time to make him talk. We've got to make sure they keep busy. Uh, what do you mean? We can't attack them ourselves. They're ready for us, and there are too many for two of us to handle. There's a squad of soldiers back east, Tonto. Miss Barkley sent them along the trail after me. Soldiers? Yes, not many, but enough to capture the Iron Spur with our help. Oh, but soldiers plenty far away. Uh... Yeah, there's no telling how far back they are. But I have a plan, Tonto. We can make the Iron Spur chase us. Oh, that not work. Silver and Scout plenty fast. Outlaw not follow. Yes, they will, Tonto. Now listen, here's what we're going to do. never seen the beat. I tell you, that Lone Ranger's got eyes that can spot anything. I figured we had him for certain, and all at once he rides faster in the wind and gets away. Takes the engine, too. Yeah, we fired enough bullets to break down a prairie wagon. Yeah, and everyone missed. Yeah, he took us by surprise. Yeah, yeah, I reckon he did. <laughs> Button your lip, Henshaw. We still ain't through with you. No use trying to catch him. The horses are plenty fast. Yeah. We'll take Henshaw and head west again. Only this time we cover our trail and keep it covered till we Dexter! get Dexter! Hey, Dexter! Oh, oh! Oh, boy. Oh, Ray, oh, you. Dexter, we got him, we got him. Got who? The masked man and the engine. The masked man and... The... You gone loco? No, I tell you. I rode out past that ridge to the west. I seen them. They're circling to the east. We can get them as easy as falling off a log. What are you using for brains, Raven? Are you saying we should go after them? Sure, it'll be easy. Why, those horses can run circles around us. Not now they can't, Dexter. I reckon at least one of our bullets hit the mark. The stallion is lame. What's that? What's that? Yeah, he's limping. All we got to do is take after him and make him shoot. As soon as they use up their ammunition, we got him. Well, I'll be. You hear that, gents? Yeah. On your horses. We're going after him. All right, boys. Come on, now. Gino, slow down again, boys. The masked man still got bullets in his guns. Uh, the Indian's coming back to join him again. 
I figured he might be running out on his partner. No, them two always travel together. The engine's horse is sound, but he wouldn't desert the Lone Ranger. Most likely he went over the next ridge looking for a place where they might make a stand against us. Yeah, I reckon that's it. But there isn't any such place. Yes, man! Your horse is lame. You can't get away. Why don't you give up? We're ready for you any time, Dexter. Come on and fight it out. <laughs> You're a pack of coyotes, yellow coyotes, Dexter. The guys are pulling trigger. Huh? Hey, did you see that? They're all out of bullets. They fired at us, but nothing happened. They're out of bullets. This is it, gents. They got no more ammunition. Ride them down. They can't get away. The stallion's lame. Follow me. Over the ridge and after them. Follow me. Come on. Look at the stallion trying to run. Now we've got him. Only a few yards more. Close in. Oh, the pack. Charge. Ride them down. What the kind of soldiers? We've been tricked. They got us surrounded. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shut the gun right out of my hand. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I give up. We give up, we surrender. We give up. Put the ropes on, Ray. Henshaw, you're all right here. Thanks to you, masked man. How'd you do it? We knew the soldiers were following us. We tried to lead the outlaws into a trap, and it worked. You tell outlaw anything? No, the railroad line is still safe. That isn't what I meant, masked man. Your horse isn't lame anymore. Silver was never lame, Henshaw, but he's well trained. He was able to pretend he was hurt just to fool Dexter. Corporal, they're all yours. They'll end up in jail, masked man. That's how I can leave. Adios, Henshaw. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Adios, adios. Look at that stallion travel now. He sure fooled me. But what's more important, he fooled those outlaws, too. <laughs> yep, it takes a lone ranger to think of something like that. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 